Ed, can I have currents? Yeah. Oh. Check in with Dory in a second here. Now, she's the kind of kid that you're immediately drawn to when you meet. Just like most 10-year-olds, she has a huge imagination, a cute little giggle, and a love for animals. Now, what sets this girl apart is her struggle to stay alive. Phoenix Fiacas doesn't know when her time will be up, so she's living life to its fullest. CTV's Erin Isfeld reports. I see a white tiger girl is stalking its prey. Whoa. Yeah. Phoenix Ficus is full of personality, bursting with creativity and big ideas. If you go to the Antarctica and if you spit there, the, your spit will, it will freeze before it hits the ground. Yeah. What you don't see is how sick she is. So I was dying really slowly there in the Children's Hospital because I was born with, with a really bad liver. Phoenix has a rare genetic disease that basically attacks her liver. Sick most of her young life, she received a liver transplant when she was just six years old. She even got to hold it afterwards. A healthy liver should be bright pink. I think we got about a year, a good year and a half. Things were so stable with her health and so good. And then she started to act a little off. Phoenix is now rejecting her new liver. Her bile ducts are blocked. She's been in and out of hospital with several close calls. But this one's showing she's a fighter. One day at a time. Sometimes you draw your strength from her. <laughs> Sonia Ficus doesn't sugarcoat reality for her daughter. Phoenix knows the uphill battle she's facing, and she's making the most of it with Phoenix's life experiences to live list. Two pages filled with big dreams and hopes for the future. Make a list of the things that you want to do before, you, before is your time. So, so, that way you'll, so that way you'll have lots of fun and that way you can say that you did lots of cool things and that you, and that you made it, made it through. Just days ago, Edmonton surgeons agreed to a new surgery, an attempt to get the blood flowing to her liver again. So there's a bunch of risks <laughs> in a bunch of different areas, but it, there's hope when I didn't have that before. And there's one more that I thought oh. that this morning. Until then, the live list keeps growing. Yep. And that's all. So far. Yep. And what we're looking at is 19 degrees under mainly sunny skies right now. Had those showers earlier today. Calgary had them as well. Uh, right now our winds are fairly light. Uh, as I said, 19 degrees is where we're at. Uh, we did get down to 9 degrees at 8 a.m. this morning. We're expecting a fairly clear sky during the evening hours. And you can see the temperatures up on the screen looking pretty nice as well. Everyone's recovered from those cooler temperatures earlier today. So most areas right now are seeing fairly average temperatures, maybe slightly below. But after we get past tomorrow, which is our second round of shower activity late in the day tomorrow, we'll start to see that area of high pressure really reinventing itself and strengthening and allowing a lot of sunshine to get down to the surface. Big low pressure area to the north of Saskatchewan and Alberta and even into Manitoba. Rotation around that is what put us into a northerly flow, pulled down some precipitation this morning, and that low pressure center is tracking off to the east. So areas like Regina and Saskatoon could see a sprinkle or two tonight. Uh, we, on the other hand, are seeing fairly clear sky but we do have another system it's going to be pushing across the mountains into southern Alberta following the jet stream. Jet stream's nice and high in BC but it collapses on this side and that allows that precipitation late in the day tomorrow. Calgary will get it earlier. We're getting it right around the supper hour and carrying on into the evening hours and then boom it's gone. The weekend is looking very nice and you'll see that in the five-day forecast. 13 degrees in St. John's right now. We've got heavy rainfall warnings out for Halifax and parts of New Brunswick as well. 23 degrees in Montreal. Nice conditions in southern Ontario. Not too hot, but some thunder shower risks for later tonight uh, in the southernmost areas of southern Ontario tonight. And then as you get into western Canada, things are looking uh, pretty quiet from Thunder Bay on west. Uh, we're looking at a lot of sunshine that has occurred today. And as I said, as you get into Regina and Saskatoon, expecting some shower activity tonight from that system that's migrating into Sask uh, Saskatchewan. Easy for me to say. 23 degrees in Kelowna right now. We've got a sun and cloud mix. Very nice conditions 
influence on the West Coast because of that rise in the jet stream allowing a lot of sunshine in through Victoria and Vancouver. Up north in uh, Yellowknife and Whitehorse looking at a sun and cloud mix in both those locations. Temperatures slightly above average in both those locations as well. Your overnight forecasts aren't too bad uh, for East Kootenai. We're going to see that pop up on the screen here momentarily. Mainly clear skies tonight. 7 degrees for a low. Tomorrow sun and cloud mix and you've got those evening showers developing. 22 degrees for a daytime high. Tomorrow your winds will be out of the west at about 20 kilometers per hour by mid-afternoon. For the Crow's Nest Pass, looking at 6 degrees for a low tonight. Mainly clear tonight and it'll be late in the day tomorrow that you see those evening showers develop. So the bulk of the day will be a sun and cloud mix if you have outdoor activities. Don't cancel anything because you'll be able to get that golf game in if that's on your agenda for tomorrow and I know it is for a lot of people. Medicine Hat, you're going to be looking at mainly clear skies tonight down to 4 degrees for a low. Chance of frost in your forecast and there's a chance of frost here in Lethbridge tonight as well. Sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day. Chance of those evening showers. Well, we're looking at evening showers. The chance doesn't really have anything to do with it. Expect showers in the evening. Lethbridge, we're looking at an overnight low tonight of 3 degrees. Mostly clear skies tonight and then that shower developing right around the supper hour tomorrow. 22 degrees for a daytime high and winds will be out of the north once again tomorrow at 30 kilometers per hour. So there's your five day forecast. Now Wednesday you're looking at that leftover uh, or that chance of shower activity in the evenings. Thursday you could see a leftover shower just because of the in, you know the unstable air mass that's been brought in on Wednesday but as we get into the weekend things are looking very stable area of high pressure digging in and those temperatures well above normal average for us here in Lethbridge at this time of year is 22 degrees so we're going to be enjoying those warmer temperatures for this weekend in September now our focus on safety message I think we'll have that popping up in a moment here maybe not but I'll just tell you that the focus on safety message is if you have a neck collar for your dog and you're yanking on it and that seems to be the pattern when you oh there it is when you're walking your dog it can really be detrimental to their neck some dogs have actually had to have surgery for damage that's been caused by that if you find that you're yanking on it make sure that you switch them over to a harness uh, type of restraint and that'll be much safer for your dog and that's our focus on safety message for this week I'll see you all tomorrow